Hi, I'm Ron Ponce. I'm from Anaheim High School. I am the engineering instructor there, also McDoom Manufacturing. I've been using 3D printers in my classroom to uh, get kids more excited in it. They're able to uh, think outside the box with different kinds of projects like you see here. Um, they're also able to uh, make parts for our uh, race car that we have, our Anaheim Engineering race car. Uh, parts that we can't find in the market. We just decide, okay, we're going to make it, we do it. So it really gets them thinking about what they can do. They get to hold the parts, uh, just makes it more exciting for them. The technology is great because they're able to actually hold a part. If they can't figure something out in a drawing, they can actually turn it, hold it, where they really get the uh, idea of what the part's supposed to be, where a 2D drawing sometimes doesn't show it. So they have a better idea of how they're supposed to make the part. Challenges I face as a teacher. One thing lately I found out that you can't help everybody. I mean, the technology is out there. We've got a lot of neat things. But you can't get everybody interested like you are in manufacturing and engineering. Um, I can say with some of the projects I've been doing, now with 3D printing that you're able to give the people something, it does get them more excited. But you're not going to reach everybody. You do have to remember it. You can help a lot, but it doesn't mean you can help everybody. Advice for other teachers. Network. Find other teachers that are uh, doing what you're doing. When you run into problems, 20 to 1, somebody's already run into that problem, they already know the answer, and they'll be able to help you through it. I don't care if that's another teacher, a company that you're working with, they'll be able to help you out. It's too hard trying to do it alone. So uh, get other people that do the same thing you do. It also makes it fun. You have challenges. Uh, me and some of the other schools that I work with, we have challenges and just, it's fun working together with other people. When you're looking for equipment, don't just look for the price, look for the customer service. Because if you don't have someone that's gonna give you great customer service, when your part gets, you know, breaks or something, you're lost. I've heard of a lot of people getting uh, 3D printers that are, you know, three, $400, but when it's broke, they can't get any customer service. Uh, customer service I like here, and that's why I keep for this company. Um, great, great people, great service, um, and an awesome product. This wheelchair here, um, was developed a couple years ago. We had a teacher aide come in and teacher brought him in. It almost fallen out of his wheelchair trying to get something off the ground. Um, and we started thinking, two problems there. One, reaching over to get something. Two, if they have fallen out, how hard it is to get up. So me and some students decided that we were gonna to try to develop a chair with vertical adjustment. So it raises up, lowers down. It's a lot easier to get into a wheelchair in a lowered position than a stock height. I've never seen anything out like this before. Um, everything I've seen looks more like a giant forklift. Uh, so we decided we're going to try it. We didn't want to get too technical by some exotic lift system. So we went for something very simple that can lift the weight like a scissor jack. Um, so we entered this into the Orange County Maker Challenge. Um, we had to do some machining on it. And uh, we took third place in it, uh, very happy with it. Um, and the kids did great. Now we need to go into the next part of figuring out how do you uh, patent something like this? So this is all things that would go into an engineering class and manufacturing and how you teach more kids. How you just keep teaching them to get better in themselves. Challenges with this for uh, not having a 3D printer would have been having to solder everything find a way to bend small tubing. I would have had to use cloth for the seats, um, molds for the tires. So with 3D printing, we just threw it up on the computer, made all the parts, a couple things, yeah, they didn't work, and we were able to go back to the um, drying, modify it, throw it back on the 3D printer. Uh, this is actually our second one. Our first one, we started making too small. And we go, hey, we, got, we can make a bigger size. We have a big enough platform on our printer so we started doing it. A couple things were wrong, fix it, reprint. So it seemed pretty easy with a 3D printer. Um, we do plan to try to make a full size one, which will still have a lot of 3D parts on it, joints, probably even the wheels. The products that are out, the materials that are out, are awesome nowadays. Um, it's one of the reasons I like the printers I use. 
um, is because you have so many different materials that are available in mind. Future projects in my class, one, we're going to try to make, like I said, the full-size wheelchair. Two, we're getting ready to build a new race car from our high school. Uh, we plan to uh, make a three-wheeler, electric. It's an energy race car. You're allowed one dollar of energy. You go as far as you can in one hour. We're going to be uh, trying new things like not using shock absorbers, but using rubber bushings that are 3D printed where you can change the infill of the product to uh, change your dampening rate. So we're trying those, um, just thinking outside the box, trying to be different. Um, students in my class, a lot of them are really getting excited. I mean, where they were coming into the class, he has a drawing class on the computer. How boring. But they weren't seeing the stuff they could do. Now they were printing some stuff out and I actually let them print things of their own. I do charge them for the filament, but they're getting more excited. I got a kid who actually stuck around a little bit today so he could give his mom a birthday present. Did a 3D printed heart for him. Um, but they're seeing more and more things that they can do, um, especially with things I do like on for the race car, terminal covers, um, any kind of protection for that, push handles. Um, kid wants to make some grips for his bicycle that are totally unique so he has something different out there. Um, they're starting to think outside the box. It's not just you're in this one little circle of what you can build. What can you think of? We can just about build it.